Right, guys from TJ Maxx I picked up this today my Ghirardelli milk chocolate caramel squares and not that I should be picking up anything sweet but I got some candy corn I was craving it and plus it's Halloween season um, so I'm gonna have this rice tomorrow I'm gonna make with my um, smothered turkey wings and I picked up an onion, the turkey gravy, I got smoked paprika, oregano, complete seasoning, um, pretty much some sauce on. And then basil. And then I also got a red, yellow, and green pepper. So I'm gonna cut that up. And we're cooking drizzle a little bit of this in the bottom of the crock pot. So I have avocado oil. Yeah, so I'm got some avocado oil. And this was just a sidebar. Blueberry peach jam. This is just for me to eat on my toast in the morning. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. And I'm also going to put crushed pepper flakes on them. Oh, we also got Jiffy cornbread to make the sweet stuff. <laughs> Gonna have that for my dinner tomorrow. So I'm gonna prep tonight for Sunday dinner. Oh, I'm also forgetting one thing, guys. Hold on. So everyone was talking about, I wouldn't say everyone, but I went on, what? I'm trying to think what, was it Pinterest? I think I went on Pinterest and saw this girl, she did, the Cajun injections. So I'm only going to do one girl lady had a butter injection, but I Publix only had this one. So I'm only going to use a little bit of this, but I'm going to also melt my own butter and we only use Irish butter. So I have a stick of that that I will melt and put a little bit of the seasoning and of that in there and then put that inside of the syringe sock it to them turkey wings and I'm gonna let y'all see what the turkey wings look like so yes I got my turkey wings from Publix if I can get the bag open We didn't get that many. I only got um, two packs because it's just for me and babe. So this one, they're together. So I'll, I'll separate the drum from the wing. And that one was $7.68. This one was $8.48, same, separated. The drum from the wing yep so I'm gonna get to cleaning I'm gonna let you guys see how I clean everything how I'm gonna season I'm gonna move all my stuff back over here and we'll go from there all right guys so I'm going to use my slicer for the onion and I'll show you guys how I do that I always put it on three and you just lock it for when you're not using it and then you slot it of course it's hard because I have nails <laughs> back to three and this is your guard to hold the vegetable or fruit 
to go up and down with it. So normally I start by cutting the onion like so. All right, guys, so right there I showed you guys how I use my slicer for my fruits or vegetables. Now here, I'm just going to be peeling that first layer off on the onion so that way you can get a good thin slice and you're not putting some of the skin of the onion inside of your food. Be very careful when using this because you can cut yourself if you are not taking your time um, I advise you to use the guard if you're if you have the type of vegetable or fruit that could slip out of your hand. So just be mindful of that. And you may get a couple of pieces um, stuck inside the blade. Uh, I would normally just you know try to pull it out as I see that they're stuck in there. But yeah, this thing slices very thinly, and I just love the way it salt like it thinly slices the onions. And then I am going to hand slice the bell peppers and green peppers. I'm just going to clean up this mess here and we'll go from there.
Okay guys, so everything is all sliced up with the peppers. Here I'm going to show you pretty much all the seasoning that I'm going to be using. That is some curry, paprika, oregano, and I see some basil. I also had some salsone complete seasoning with pepper and of course cilantro leaves. I love cilantro. And then I found that at Walmart the Cajun injector with of course my jerk seasoning that I always keep in the refrigerator. I'm showing you guys here that it, that's how much was in there and I did put a little bit of water as well as a little bit of the butter seasoning and shook it up so that way I can inject that inside of the um, turkey wing which I'll show you here and be very careful with that needle guys. It is very sharp. Um, don't hold the meat and like jab yourself in the hand, you wanna be mindful of that as well. But here I will show you exactly how, for the first couple of tries, it's gonna be kind of taut to pull in there, but kind of do it at, at an angle when you're injecting it into the meat. And then you want to put, you'll feel it like it's gonna go, like go in, it'll start to go through the meat gently. And then you'll see the meat. And then once you find that spot, I would continue to, like you see it there. And then some of the seasonings may get stuck in the needle. So try to squirt it in the sink first and then fill in your meats. I guess once I figured out it was something stuck inside of it, I was able to push it through. But be take your time. Yeah, I go and I do it in the sink. But I went ahead and took my peppers and put them in two separate bowls so that way I can season in one container and I'm going to let these sit overnight because I wanted that flavor inside of the meat. You see those black indentions in the meat? That's where the I injected the meat, the turkey wing with that butter Cajun seasoning as well as the jerk seasoning that I put that I suction into the needle. So here I'm just going in and lathering all of my seasonings my dry herbs um the only wet uh seasoning i had was of course what i placed inside of the turkey wing by injecting it
so it is 8.42. I grabbed my chicken broth, my smoked paprika, and then I also have my, I also have my onions, my turkey wings that are, they've been sitting in the refrigerator, and my crock pot. So I went ahead and put some of the olive, the avocado oil at the bottom with the peppers, onions, and I have this crock pot turned on high, and I'm going to place them in here. So they've been marinating overnight, and they smell so good in here, y'all. So I mix some chicken broth, and I'm going to pour that on the sides. Sorry. And I just put like some garlic. Pepper. And I put more paprika and I'm going to put some crackled, fresh crackled pepper. All right, guys. So I took some of the juice out of the turkey wings and put it in here because instead of me doing the chicken broth, I'm going to pour this in the mason jar. So that way I can mix that because it's hot. So I'm going to get the lid to the Put the lid on here and then I will shake it up. All right, so I did a little shake, shake. Oh. Tastes good, but. I can't take it, touch it with that. Yeah, that's hot. So I'm gonna use my cloth. So I'll be back. Them, when I tell y'all these turkey wings smell so good, they smell so good. Um, and I should have known yesterday that um, flow was coming because I was craving for some chocolate so I just went and got my um, Ghirardelli little chocolate so I had two of them already today um, which hit the spot for me I'm trying to be cautious with my candy and sweets intake if I want something I want to be able to control um, not having too much hold on babe's call so sorry guys i decided to leave the house and go get my feet done while the um turkey wings were cooking in the crock pot and of course my nail lady did her thing my toes look so pretty i just wanted to kind of throw that in there and show you guys that while everything was cooking i went ahead and just went to go pamper myself you know for a little bit even though the weather was getting a little chilly, it's already chilly now. But when I went and did this, it was, you know, how North Carolina weather is. We get warm, cold, and warm. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, and so here I had got my package for my sandals. Macy's was having a sale on their sandals. So I went ahead, of course, and shopped for next summer. Duh. Those are my favorite. They are so comfortable. And those Steve Madden ones, I got them in black as well. So, yes, I cannot wait to wear those. And, y'all, talk about that food. So good. So good. Falling off the bone. Falling off the bone. Let me go eat. Mm -hmm.